so i don't know exactly how much is your level of preparation you only know so only you can help yourself nobody else can do that to qualify get 40 45 50 marks just because in computer science that is enough sometimes to be in a better university for mtech and take your career to the next forward step in that preparation in the last month you need to spend extra time for your practice and revision of completed topics and students are frustrated sir my favorite subject was this i was not able to solve this question and because of that my entire paper was gone wasted hey everyone i hope all of you are fine and your preparation is going good my name is vishwadeep and i welcome you all on pw gatewala channel in this particular session i am going to talk about those common mistakes not more than six of course precisely the six most common mistakes the students commit in the last month of their gate preparation okay let me come to the point directly what is the first issue see the thing is students understand that if i will cover up the syllabus i can get the good rank but my dear friend the thing is in the gate examination you get good rank by scoring more marks and how do you get marks in gate examination by solving the question so most important part here is are you able to solve the question through the knowledge which you taken or which you learned do you remember the concepts which exactly you learned those small 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 concepts which you learned in the classes for all those 10 12 13 14 courses in your gate syllabus are you able to remember everything no and that is why covering the syllabus not only that particular thing works but you will have to work on your practice and revision also and that is why i always tell the students that do not commit that mistake just to focus on syllabus completion etc if you are left with a certain number of courses leave it if you have covered very less number of subjects just because you started late or maybe because of certain reason you could not complete your you know continue your gate preparation let's say you have completed only three courses or four you can spend maybe five six more days from now to cover up one more topic two more topics like that but you will have to spare enough time for preparation in that preparation in the last month you need to spend extra time for your practice and revision of completed topics so if you are still completing the syllabus learning new things leave it ha huh. one more thing can happen let's say you have completed 90 percent of the syllabus before or 80 percent of the syllabus before you have completed practice of it revision of it multiple three four times of revision you remember everything you are scoring 80 percent marks in those tests of the completed topics then if you feel one or two new important topics of uncompleted subjects you can pick up but that is again a very specific condition otherwise leave new topic and just focus on completed topics revision and practice in last one month that is another problem student are not focusing on the enough on revision practice and test you will have to give enough time for revision and practice and test in the last month no new topic to be covered again i am telling you please leave if you have remaining topics it's okay i have seen even myself got 440 rank in gate 2018 with just knowing five courses yes how whichever course i knew every question i was able to solve correctly why my problem solving skill is good just because I'm teaching the course. I know each and every topic, each and every small concept of that particular topic. That's why if you can make it possible that most of the question you can solve, then you can score better with lesser syllabus still rather than just covering the syllabus, but you are not able to score the score at all or score the marks at all. That will not help you at all. Even though if you are in third year, you want to prepare for final year again, then to just revise and practice for last one month and try to score more with the covered syllabus itself next thing next mistake is cannot finish everything in one month so leaving everything students you know uh, engineering students are having this kind of tendency that they get up or they raise up rise up their uh, intensity only at the end just like uh, semester exams 
so in one month they are trying to cover up the syllabus also revision also practice also test also pyq practice also and lot of other things they want to combine every single thing in last one month itself sir my plan is to complete this 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 in single month it doesn't happen everything you cannot finish in just limited time which requires two to three months or sometimes four months so if you have such kind of scenario pending things are so many just because you your intensity was not great initially you got late in some kind of you know you got stuck some blocker happened in your life whatever it is if you cannot combine combinedly complete every single thing in one month then assess what you can leave what you should leave leave it but whatever you can cover try to cover it so that you can score marks see gate examination is not a you know zero one binary kind of thing either you prepare completely or you don't prepare lot of students are preparing half doing and leaving lot of things still they are scoring well just because whatever they were committed to they were able to finish they were fully committed to it so if let's say you are not able to revise one subject or let's say you are not able to revise something completely multiple times at least try to revise the important topics at least try to practice those topics more where you can expect more number of questions there are topics you can easily you know assess the pyqs and understand okay from this topic lot of questions are coming every year a uh, question is coming so let me practice this let me leave this particular concept just because this there is no any question from this particular concept at all like that you can confine your preparation for one month and you can still score better than many of the student thousands of student yes thousands of student better than them you can do still if you can can find your strategy what can fit in one month rather than leaving and quitting here so don't give up still you have chance to qualify get 40 45 50 marks just because in computer science that is enough sometimes to be in a better university for mtech and take your career to the next forward step so don't just leave here don't quit anything from now okay next mistake students are doing is not real analysis see the thing is when you attempt the test you get lesser marks that is the normal tendency i also got the same thing initially just because you are not habitual of writing the test you are not having enough practice you don't remember each and every concepts implementation how to implement it to the new questions so you will improve your database of you know concepts here how to use this concept to solve new type of problem okay this one another question comes from the same concept when with, with some other trick you will remember that next time so keep updating your this knowledge base by attempting more and more test how you are not able to solve the question why what is the reason find it out analyze each and every test and try to improve your marks next time onwards how analyze each and every question each question will have a separate kind of a reason most of the time either you don't remember the concept second problem is you remember the concept but you have you could not understand how to attempt this specific question using this knowledge oh i'll have to use this knowledge like that i didn't know so this i didn't know how to use the knowledge to solve the problem that will certainly improve with lot of practice you continue practice and you will be able to update your knowledge base how to solve different problems with different given data you will be able to understand a type of problem students can have in the test is silly mistakes those silly mistakes you can easily avoid by watching my video there is a video on gate wala main channel how to avoid silly mistakes in test i have only prepared it just search and understand it easily you can avoid that but analysis is required just because if you will ask me lot of students are doing this asking each and every teacher everywhere on the different different platforms to the different different influencers also they are asking my test score is very less how can i improve it i don't know how much you prepared which course you prepared how exactly you prepared i don't know how much you remember how much effort you are putting behind those four walls behind the doors i don't know exactly are you really preparing for gate or just playing the games and fooling the world i don't know so i don't know exactly how much is your level of preparation you only know so only you can help yourself nobody else can do that so you will have to assess where you are making mistake this topic did i covered or not did i practice enough or not did did i or do i remember or not 
and you'll have to work on it. You can easily improve your score to the double yes if you know how to do that. If you know how to do that by real analysis where you are making mistake, if you can catch it, you can improve that problem. And most of the time problems are revision and practice. If you will continue revision and revision, revision, practice, 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 you can improve those marks easily. Next mistake students are doing is wasting the time in irrelevant topics. People tend to do that. One subject is my favorite and they do what? With that favorite subject, they attend every class which is happening live or recorded. They are practicing extra questions from that topic only just because I am loving solving questions and getting the answers. Okay, my dear friend, maximum 10, 12, whatever the weightage of that particular subject is, those many marks you can score from your favorite subject, not more than that. You cannot get 100 marks out of that subject itself. No, you cannot get 60 marks out of that subject itself. If you have practiced your favorite subject enough, leave it. I know you enjoy solving more questions or attempting more number of questions, but you will have to score more. Doesn't matter the score is coming from your favorite subject or least favorite subject. You will have to waste or you will have to leave that wasting the time. Otherwise, you will end up with just 12 marks from that subject itself. Sometimes it happens that your favorite subject question itself, you are not able to make in the gate examination just because that question was very hard or was having some kind of a trick which you could not understand in exam or during those three hours. Happened so many times and students are frustrated. Sir, my favorite subject was this. I was not able to solve this question and because of that, my entire paper was gone wasted. No, we don't have to take it on ego. Two marks, gone, gone. I don't care. If that particular subject is my favorite or that subject is taught by my favorite tutor or teacher, doesn't matter. Teacher is still my favorite. He has taught or she has taught me well. Fine. I respect them. Fine. But my aim in those three hours is to score more by solving more question. Doesn't matter. That question is from whichever subject, whichever topic, whoever taught. My aim is to score more. So stop wasting the time in irrelevant topics and practice. One last your routine. You should have a fixed routine now. At what time you will go for sleep? What time you will wake up? Based on your gate examination slot. If you have a fixed slot that 2.30 or morning 9.30, just fixed the time. That this is my time. I'll go to sleep around this much time. I'll get up in the morning this much time. I'll have my breakfast, lunch, etc. Fixed routine for your gate preparation. Just because you are going to have that particular routine. Your biological clock should be set that your digestion system, your sleep system, your food system, your hunger system, everything should be dependent on that routine. You will have to make that routine so that you can make most concentration during those three hours where your gate paper has to happen. And you will have to take care of your food also. You cannot, of course, you cannot afford to give one day or half day just because your stomach is not well, you are having a digestion issue or, issue or something because you ate some kind of food which was not good, unhygienic food. So you'll have to work on your food also. Start eating normal food, not the junk food, not the heavy food, not too much food, not on the you know irregular times, etc. So that because of the food, whatever issue can happen can be easily avoided for at least one month. Whatever party you can avoid, just avoid or you can postpone, just postpone for one month so that you can concentrate well on your gate preparation without wasting the time. So fix your routine, sleep cycle, biological cycle, food, etc. so that you will not commit any kind of problem. But there is another problem still existing that problem is you are writing all the tests from your comfort, from your home or your hostel, known vicinity. To solve that particular problem, we have one real test for you guys and that particular real test for GATE 2025 aspirants we are going to conduct on 20 different cities. That is a computer based, center based test where we will give you a center you will go to the center, you will write the gate examination kind of a examination test. That particular test will be conducted in these branches. The timing is 12th of January and the registration will close on 31st of 
December. So if you haven't registered for it, just register as soon as possible so that you can attempt a test, real test going to the center so that that particular you know physical appearance sitting next to a gate aspirant who is very serious etc those kind of fear can be you know cut short and you can easily be confident on the day of gate examination thank you so much uh, for listening this particular video still if you have any problem query question or something you can drop in the comments and we will be happy definitely to answer them thank you so much have a great day bye bye